are back at you with episode number 49 of the Planting Pirates. This is where we're going to go around our yard and show you where we planted all the free plants we got in our Plant Pirates episode number 49. Uh, if you check out our other videos, you'll see where we got all these plants we're about to show you for free. Yeah. Yeah, so we're actually going to start, I started right here because this isn't really a plant or a living plant, but um, I did grab these bamboo poles for Annalisa. And I think we're gonna use these. Um, the boys have bamboo bunk beds. They do. They we don't. went we went way out of our way to get them bamboo bunk beds. Drove a long way to buy them off Craigslist, but um, they don't have a guardrail at the top. Yeah, it's yeah. like you just like could roll right off. Yeah. So we're gonna um, make a guardrail. Yeah. So you can see all I did with them, guys, is I took my uh, machete and just hacked off all the little branches and leaves that were on there. Uh, so we have clean poles now. And we have smaller pieces that um, the kids use for their cane poles. So I was yep. thinking we could drill holes the size of those canes and those could go up through uh, the it. the slats, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that could go through the bunk. All right, cool. So yeah. we got something useful there. So I'm excited. That's going to really be awesome for Teddy because he um, sleeps up against the wall right yeah, now. Cause he's cause afraid he's to roll off the, off. <laughs> yeah. So next so. thing, next thing we got is, um, I think it was that little clump of Spanish moss up there yeah. with the stick stuck in it. And um, like I've said in a couple previous uh, Plant Pirates episodes, I'm trying to collect Spanish moss and get it going in our live oaks here. We just don't have any on our property. And there is some um, on other parts of our island, but just not on our property. So I've been putting it up in this tree right here to try and get it established. This orchid looks pitiful right now. Oh, it does, um, cause yeah. I, I think because the... Um, the roots are showing maybe too much. So you're gonna use it so as. I'm gonna use some of this stuff. Oh, she's taking all my uh, my, my 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 Spanish sorry. moss, all my efforts. Uh, and wrap it, and see if that makes a difference. Also, it'll make it bigger because it keeps flopping over in that spike. Oh, it'll make it stick so in the spike I'm better. And it'll make it like. Yeah. Because the other one reflowered, my yeah. other orchid reflowered, and it's happier. Right. It seems so. Cool. All right, so next thing on my list while she's playing with her uh, orchids over there, uh, we got two bromeliads, and I'm pretty sure I put one I put one in this tree right here. I think it was this one I put in there this week. Do you remember? Maybe it was one of these, but I think it was this one that I put in there one, yep. th this week. And then I think if you remember, we also put another one over here. It was kind of pitiful looking, but we still put it in the ground because it'll shoot off little pups for us. Yeah, one of these two right here. I think it was this real pitiful looking one. But, it, I mean, they almost always shoot off new pups for mm -hmm. us. So. No matter how raggedy they are, they're yeah. just like, I guess once they get to a certain point, they don't give you as many. Yeah. So eventually you want to tear the raggedy ones out as you get new ones. All right, let's... Um, over here, I know we got a big thing of plumeria, a big uh, cutting of plumeria, and I know it's over here because I, I checked it out this morning, guys. It actually doesn't look great. It's not so, good. yeah. I mean, it never really does when you first put it in the ground yeah. for us, anyways. The leaves. Well, I think we need to. I think we need to pull off. off like a whole bunch of these leaves. Yeah. Look, there's some that are standing up right here. See? Yeah. Those are standing up, and these are fine. Yeah. Yep. See. But yep. pull all the rest. So, yeah. Off. Just pull all these droopy leaves off. You'll see I'm at, wait, before you pull any more off, let's show the plant before you pull it. It looks pretty pathetic right now. Yeah. So go ahead and pull them all off. And they just pop right off. They do have kind of a little milky, sappy substance in there. Yeah, I imagine. You don't want to get it on your clothes. I imagine maybe if you're allergic to latex. Oh, for sure. Might be a problem. It's um, definitely latexy because it's sticky. Yeah. Let's get rid but of all that bad stuff. Look how much better. Now look, all that new growth won't yeah. be slowed down trying to keep all yeah, that I mean, stuff alive. I mean, you can see alive, these, you know? all these new leaves that it's putting out right here. And we'll just throw the leaves back there and that will help to feed the plant. Yeah. Smolt it. Yep. And that stuff, it'll be brown in there. Sweet. I don't want to put anymore. There's another one we got from cuttings. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, it's kind of an old flower there, but... It might it's still really to go. pretty. We need to do a little bit of weeding in this yeah. bed over here. Always need to pick a weed and pull it. All right, so next I know we got some we got some chaya this week, and I and we planted oh, it over I think here. I'm gonna kill it right here. Yeah. It awesome. 
planted it over here. We're, we're actually, we, we actually got some sugar cane too this week. So I'll show you guys our established sugar cane here. Oh, I had some stuff fall on it. Oh man. Um, but you can see we just harvested the sugar cane and now it's shooting up. Look, even up here. Yeah, got a new shoot right there. it's shooting up new little sh canes everywhere. Yeah. But we did get some other sugar cane this week. We'll show you where we put it in just a minute. Let's see, the chaya was, I put right back here along the fence. Yeah, it looks so happy here. Yeah, where did I put it? It's really a sun loving. Yeah, plant. right here, yeah. We don't really, we, we like putting fruit trees in all of our sunny spots, yeah. so we don't have many. There's the chaya, and this will get really big, and it's also a, uh, it's a butterfly tractor, right? Yeah, swallowtails, and yeah. I'm sure some other ones, once we start getting the flowers going, I'll, I'll notice it more. Mm -hmm. um, that's just what I noticed in our neighbor's yard. Yeah, all right. And then, um, let's see, the sugar cane is over here. Yeah, we didn't plant it. We just stuck it on the ground. Right? Yeah. You guys can see, I don't know if you saw some of our last videos, but we had a storm blow out a couple of our screen panels, and some guys came the other day to fix it for us. They did a great job. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have, uh, we kept, actually, we kept trapping really killer bug specimens in our screen area here. Yeah. Um, they'd which, fly in, they couldn't find their way out and die, and which is unfortunate, but we do have a bug collection too. Yeah, it like tripled my bug collection. It really did. Quadrupled. Yeah. I've got some crazy stuff. I'm letting them dry right now though, yeah. so I don't want to frame them until they're totally dry. All right, and then here's the sugar cane we got. Um, it's not doing great, because I noticed the other day, I didn't tell Annalisa, oh, it's rooted itself at least. It's stuck to the ground. Um, it's not doing great. This one's stuck to the ground yeah, too. that's all it needs. Um, because I'm, be I mowed over it the other day, I have to admit. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, um, but it- just ripped that one up. Well, and if you remember too, when we got it, it already had little shoots coming out of it, mm -hmm. and they're gone now, because I mowed them. But, um, oh, but it, it, yeah, I know. I'm sorry, my bad guys. I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, I think it'll be fine. It's I think like it will. Super tough. Yeah. So. And then the only other thing we got that's on my list here is golden pothos, and it didn't make it, guys. I'm just gonna be honest. I planted it um, way down there, and it died. Oh, but a pothos that did make it. Remember, I saw it the other day up yeah. in our nursery. Um, I wrapped one in a pot and then just put soil over it, and I thought I killed it because it just nothing. Oh, ever is that came what that out. is popping out of that yeah. pot? And like oh. all of a sudden, like maybe maybe what a month after I buried those, it, it's popping up like crazy. I saw that today. I was, so, what is this pop? What is maybe this? Maybe that's the way to do it. And that was a smaller vine. It wasn't okay. a big thick one that I just, yeah. I wrapped around like that, but it worked. Well, so. the one we got this week died. I'd have to be honest. So it's that's not worth showing. So. But uh, anyways, y'all, that's uh, running that, over the sugar. Yeah, cane. I know. I mowed over the sugar cane and killed the pot. Killing like an, the most invasive plant here. Yeah. All right. All right, right y'all. Well, if you have any questions or comments about any of the plants we showed you here today, just post down below. Till next time, everybody out there. Take care. Bye.